What do you do when you wake up in the middle of the night wondering why it's so cold to breathe? Little did I know that the outside temperature was 19 degrees. So what does a man do when he just get up and make some coffee and head now toward the next destination early in the morning? See, I am an early riser. I like to get things done early in the morning. Hey, the sun slowly rising at the end of the horizon. I'm, dri I'm driving ahead for about three and a half hours. It's a short day. I should be able to get to South Dakota capital by 11 or 12. I thought to myself, I'm going to show up to my friend that I'm going to get a sunrise on the video. As you can see, it's getting brighter and brighter as I go. But I had to turn on a, for a different freeway. So now the sun is on my left. So I thought maybe I should be able to catch it, right? So up with my friend. Nah, look at that. The sun right, right, hiding behind my uh, pillar. So disappointed. As you can see, the landscape is pretty flat. Majority of the landscape for South Dakota and any Midwest state kind of flat. It is a little bit hilly or flat. Nothing too exciting. But there is a few places that uh, have some decent scenery. It's such a shame that I wasn't able to catch that sunrise for you. It's really beautiful. So I'm pretty much expecting this kind of landscape for the next uh, three and a half hour. But the sunrise, uh, the color background is awesome. Still trying, still trying to get that uh, sunrise. Fail miserably. See, as you see, kind of hill, drop up, drop down, go up, so. Nothing exciting. Look at that. Three and a half hour drive like that. I think it changed about three or four different uh, state highway to get to uh, South Dakota capital. I think this is the first one. I believe this is my second turn. And this is my third turn. So, I have arrived at the border of South Dakota. 
So technically, I can cheat to take picture here and there. See, flower is not the color. Pretty neat. Some historic marker at the border of uh, South Dakota and North Dakota. So this is the town that uh, we're gonna enter for the state camp. Hello, YouTube friend. I have arrived. If you can see behind me, there's a little bit of the capital, the back side of it. So I arrived here at around 9.34 local time, mountain time. All right, I arrived at South Dakota state capital. Let's do a 360 degree, okay? Some kind of building over there. Nothing fancy on this side, just an entrance. Of course, you can see Sandy sitting there. There's another building over there. So let's take a closer look. So, this is some kind of health, uh, Department of Health building to the left of the Capitol. There's more building behind the Capitol. I wonder if I'm behind the capital or not. Yep, once again, somehow GPS take me to behind of the state capital. So this is the actual front of it. So the hint is you gotta find a flag. So let's do a 360 degree around here. A little bit of you're there. Some sort of building over there. This look like a soldier and a memorial. Small government building probably. A little bit of park over there. There you have it. South Dakota State Capitol. Goal number seven, South Dakota State Capitol accomplished. So as soon as I get my video and my picture done at the uh, State capital of uh, South Dakota and bringing out you know, time to hate and to work around, uh, not play in Nebraska. Because I plan, it's going to be a long drive uh, from. Uh... So here I am with the sign that described the Sand Hill area in uh, Nebraska. Yeah, I stumbled upon this uh, scenic uh, outlook. Well, this scenic, scenic overlook, gotta hike a little bit out to it. So we're gonna see what it looked like after this trail. All right, this is one of the points. So there's two different trails So this one is on a different angle. Yeah, this one is at the end of the trail. Let me do it really slow here. Can you hear the wind? So the, those was from the right trail. So I'm gonna go to the left trail one. 
see what it looked like on the left trail here. But just on this side, you kind of see the bridge a little more. There's a little bit of a pond over there on the left. So let's go check that one out. Wow, this is a much better view. This one on the left. By the way, did I say this is Nebraska? Yeah, this is Nebraska. 